My name is Elaine Holmes, I'm Head of Computational and Systems Medicine and we're in the Division of Surgery and Cancer at Imperial College. We're based very much in NMR spectrometry and mass spectroscopy and we use this technology to support medical profiling, looking at disease risk uh, linked to metabolism. So the Phenome Centre uh, was developed out of the Olympic drug testing facility and it consists of an NMR capability, we have three 600 megahertz NMR machines and also a suite of mass spectrometers and the idea is to do population phenotyping. So we collect urine and plasma and we run biochemical profiles of these on the spectrometers and the idea is to link them to risk of disease. So some of the projects we're looking at, things like cardiovascular disease uh, and there's also Alzheimer's, all, all things that are associated, diseases that are associated with ageing perhaps and diseases that the populations are, are really suffering from. We started out in NMR and it's a really robust technology. We use NMR as the first pass screen. So when we get a plasma or urine sample into the laboratory, we'll run it using NMR and that will give us the ability to detect outliers. So maybe somebody is, has a genetic inborn error of metabolism or they've eaten something peculiar or maybe there's something wrong with the sample quality, but we can tell all these things running it through the NMR. The Avance IVDR is a 600 megahertz system, which actually is not the most sophisticated instrument because what we actually want here, we want a system with minimum downtime, easy to use, and therefore we have restricted actually the accessories to the absolute minimum, but we have put in everything that is needed for the best spectral performance in order to not be disturbed in any statistical analysis by spectrometer influences because we are looking to very subtle effects sometimes uh, and whenever the instrument is producing disturbances then it will be more difficult to actually look to those subtle disturbances and therefore uh, it is very important uh, that this instrument performs at a very stable condition. We have this high reproducibility of our instrumentation and of course since we have set up all these standard operation procedures which have to be followed absolutely strictly but then we can guarantee that uh, we get the same result from the same sample independent of where this is measured, what people are measuring it, that doesn't really uh, play any role because we will get absolutely reproducible results and we can use that then uh, of course to look to very subtle effects. Brook are very receptive to criticism, they want to work with you to develop a, prod a product and there's a no-nonsense approach so if something doesn't work they're not going to try and sell you something, they'll work with you to really break through the barriers that are hindering the research and to push forward to the next generation of technology. So I think it is a, a really perfect partnership in such a relation that uh, we have the generation of ideas on one side, we have the technical realisation on the other side and together of course this forms uh, a very strong team.